Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you more information about the ADB. So, what's the ADB? ADB is exactly the Android debugging tool. It's a command line that lets you to communicate your Android phone from your computer. Uh, like a remote control to transfer file and ever access an advanced feature on your phone. Alright? So now, we need to know how to install this ADB into the Linux and a distribution of the Linux, all right? So first, sudo apt update your password if needed. So all right, I am already update my system. Now sudo apt install adb good is already installed as so you can install fastboot sudo apt install fast boot okay now how to enable it adb and your android phone go to setting scroll down to about phone software information and find build number tape to build number for some time Add pattern or security code if needed. Now, as you can see, developer mode option is enabled. Go back to developer option. Find USB debugging and toggle it. USB debugging, yes, okay. Now you can use ADB from your computer to your phone. Now test it. ADB devices, as you can see in my phone, this computer need authentication. Yes. Okay. You can use this. Adb shell. Ls. As you can see, it worked very simple. So how to use it to control your phone from your computer very easily. I will be showing you for this some tools. First tool is a command line interface CLI, and the second tool is a graphical user interface. We begin with this ADB tool, uh, Toolkit Master. You can find it in GitHub, it's a GitHub repository. Got this. Open this in terminal. Yes. So you need to run the script as root. So do adbtoolkit.sh. Your password. If you need to check for, uh, or if you need to restart or kill your server. Yes. You can see here more command. So first show connected device. Type one. As you can see, the available devices are this is a model, is this. This is my phone. Here total of uh, connected devices. 
is one, just one. You can restart the ADB service, type two. Uh, you can also install the app, the APK, and install an application, an installed application. You can list all installed application for this is a fortune. Also, you can take a screenshot for 17. Taking a screenshot. Yes, as you can see here, the screenshot is uh, putting screenshot. It's the card and there. Okay, so for screenshot, this first screen recorder, you can go for screenshot. As you can see, this is my screenshot. So record the screen anonymously. So for the 18, press enter to stop recording. So it's begging to record the screen. As you can see here, the clock. Okay, press enter. Here, screen record. As you can see. All right. So, uh, for this video, we don't have a time to test all command from this application, from the CLI or also from the ADB. Okay. So, this is another application. The graphical user interface application. Here for a file manager, Apica manager, network manager. Here for other tools and terminal we begin with the file manager here refresh for no hidden file as you can see under what call document download everything so here for a hidden file a hidden path or file as you can see here this is a hidden file, a hidden file, a hidden path for no hidden file. You can go to download this or this. We need to download this to computer. So, download. Okay. So go tools, open the base folder. This is a downloaded image from the phone to computer. Okay, where is it? It's here. And so, if you need to download or download all. Download all to download all SD card directories for upload. Make a new directory into your phone. Delete, paste, copy, and everything. Here for Epica Manager. So refresh package. As you can see here. There are all application or installed application in my phone. You can enable an application. Also, you can disable it, clear up data, and install and save it to your computer. As example, uh, the Save. 
Okay. It's her. Sashifer. As epica file. So let's uninstall this application. Zashifer. Uninstall. All right. So refresh the package. As you can see. So let's install it. Device pool. This download apica Zashifer package. Open. Wait a few seconds according to your phone, CPU. As you can see, Epica installed successfully. Okay, refresh package. Okay, the Schiffer is installed. Go to network. You can connect to Wi Fi, enable Wi Fi, disable it, enable Bluetooth. Airplane mode, mobile data, and here over TCP. Here are the tools. Get device info. As you can see, this is info related to my phone. Here for volume, power camera if you want to reboot take a screenshot okay take a screenshot go to screenshot as you can see this is a take it screenshot you can restart ADB services or open the VS folder. This is the VS folder. Okay. This is uh, everything related of the ADB for this video. I hope this lesson was some of the help for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget guys to make like, subscribe and share. Thank you. I see you later.